Coming up on today's episode of Pixels on Info, I'm going to teach you how to animate with using ActionScript 2.0. Hey guys, it's Jernbo. I'm going to show you how to make a simple animation using ActionScript 2.0. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Alright, let's open up Flash and become the tutorial. Right off the bat, make a new layer and call it Actions. It's always best practice to have your actions on its own layer without any graphics. So I start off every project by adding Actions layer and locking it. On layer 1, grab the oval tool, make sure there's no stroke, and give it a color and draw a circle on the screen. Hold down shift to constrain the proportions. With the object now selected, let's use the hotkey F8. This is going to bring up the Convert to Symbol dialog box. Make it a movie clip and give it a name of Red Ball. Now you should see the movie show up in your library called Red Ball. Whatever name you give it here really doesn't matter. It's the instance name that ActionScript is going to be looking for. So select the movie clip, locate your properties panel, that's the panel that you're going to have the instance name in and give it an instance name of ball. Now select your actions layer and press the F9 to get your actions panel up. With our actions panels up, the first thing we need to do is import our functionality we want to use. We want to use tweens and easing. So go ahead and import them by typing import space mx.transitions.tween semicolon import mx.transitions.easing and dot star. The import of the tweens is fine in the folder with pre-made tween animation script. The same thing can be said about the easing. But notice I use a dot asterisk. This is telling action script to load all of the easing types so I can use them all. Now that we have imported the functionality, we can begin animating. To declare a new tween, you need to type out new tween and open and close parentheses. Now inside the open and close parentheses, Flash is expecting seven, seven parameters. They are what object you're looking for, what property you want to affect, the tween type and the easing type, starting location or starting position, the ending location or ending position, the duration, and true or false. So let's tackle it. The first parameter is the object I want to affect. So I'm going to go put ball and comma. Next is a property. Note, this area has to be done in quotations. So if I want to affect the Y, I say quote, underscore, Y, quote, comma. Here comes the tween and easing type. There are several types of tweens and easing, but we're only going to cover one. Don't worry, I've made a cheat sheet that you can take and reference for all the types. I want it to bounce and slow down right at the end of the animation. If this part doesn't turn blue, then you've spelled something wrong. This part is very case sensitive. The next number is the starting location. So I'm going to type ball dot underscore y. This is saying go ahead and start from wherever I place the ball on the screen. Now the next one is where I want the ball to end up. So if I want it to end up 200 pixels further away from the starting position, I'm going to type ball dot underscore y minus 200 or plus 200 because if I add minus, it's going to go up and plus is going to fall down. The last two parameters are very important to each other. If the last parameter is false, then the number represented in the duration is going to be frames. But if the last one is true, then the previous number is going to take over a period of seconds. So let's go add two comma true. This says take two seconds to play out. Now go ahead and test the movie and see what happens. You just made action script animate your ball. See, that wasn't so hard. But now take what I taught you and apply it to your own projects. Don't forget to take my cheat sheet from germbo.com and also pick up the source file. That's all I've got for Pixel.info. See you next time.